Gun Freak Nation, can you believe this bullshit that's, that's going on with this uh, election, man? Uh, it is, it's crazy. I just saw an ad that said, uh, this time about Kamala Harris, right? Um, the ad said, this, this campaign ad said that Kamala does what Doug tells her to do. <laughs> so you know what they're targeting? They trying to say it's a lot of men out there that don't want to vote for her because they don't want to see a woman president, right? So the ad, it had me cracking up. It was an ad. First they saying he's, you know, it's a nut. They, they, they basically saying Kamala listens to, to Doug and Doug tells her what to do. Wow, man. You see how low the Democrats go to try to pander to people to, to get their votes. Then they, it's another ad out there. Yeah, he would be, Doug would be the first Jewish American uh, uh, president, uh, uh, presidential spouse. Man, if you don't get out of here with that nonsense. But you know, um, Gun Freak Nation, you know what really, really... Um, like kind of like irked me that really pissed me off. <clears throat> you had Obama. I saw it myself. I couldn't believe it. But you can't put nothing past these Democrats. Listen to this. You can't make this shit up. Obama gave a speech in a room full of black men. He pretty much lectured them chastise them for for if he was like if you don't vote for Kamala because she's black basically in so many words that's what he was saying that you need to vote for her strictly because she's a black woman you see the you see the the the, the, the um you see the fuckery that they do you see how they insult our integrity and intelligence that they want us as black people to practice identity politics when this woman ain't even black man she some um blackfoot uh blackfoot indian or you know and i'm not racist I'm, i don't have anything against Anybody that, you know, here in Gun Freak Nation, we don't care a, 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 about your race. But the point I'm trying to make is she's a chameleon. She's, she's you know, who, she she want to be black when she think it benefits her. That's the point that offends us. Be yourself. Be who you are. But don't, don't come around us like in some of her campaigns. She 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 be talking all that black slang. Yeah, I make my um my uh uh greens. You know, I make cornbread and and and, and greens and stuff. And I clean my greens in my in my bathtub. In my tub, I clean I clean my greens. What kind of dirty, funky, nasty ass shit is that? I'm black. I eat collard greens. I eat collard greens, but we ain't never, ever, 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 ever clean our greens in our bathtub. That's some nasty ass shit. We ain't going to clean our greens where we soak our asses. That's just, we, we, we know she faking the funk now. And when she was asked about... What type of gun she got? Oh, I got a Glock. She didn't say what kind of Glock. Oh, she was saying she would shoot a motherfucker if they break up in her house. I'm like, man, come on, y'all. So, Obama, you ain't shit. You didn't do shit when you was president for eight funky years, and you ain't shit to this day. And I ain't even trying to be disrespectful, but I'm mad at you to sit there in front of all those black men and and, and, and chastise them and lecture them who they who you think they should vote for, that you that they should vote for her strictly because she's a black woman. And she ain't even black. Okay? Her father don't even claim to be black. 
her mama is Indian, man, which I don't even want to go off into all that, but it is what it is, man. I don't like no fake ass people. I don't want no, you know, that's offensive when somebody get around a different group or race of people and then they want to act a certain way to try to gain some type of, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the gain some type of benefit off of it, man. Get the fuck out of here with that, man. You know, but the, the, the reason why I've done this video, I was approached today by a liberal Democrat uh, savage. And by the way, I'm not I'm not a Republican. I'm I'm need, and I'm damn sure not a Democrat, right? <clears throat> um so this person, you know, I'm thinking, hey, you know, I, I get approached. You know, a lot out here. The channel is growing. A lot of people recognize me and stuff, you know. Um, I don't, you know, I'm far from a star or anything like that. I ain't, I ain't power tripping, star tripping or whatever. But this person going to uh, be on some Wawa. Like, how is you selling out your way? Why would you want to vote for Trump? Trump races. You better vote for Kamala. You better, I said, I said, number one. I'm going to vote for whoever the hell I want to vote, and I'm going to talk about or support whoever I want to support on my channel. If it's not for you, then don't watch. So they got why why with it, y'all. They got why why with it. And you know what? I had to walk away. I had to walk away. Not because, not because I was scared. I walked away. Because I was scared what I might do. Because the second you put your hands on me, I don't fight. The second you put your hands on me, you're going to get sent to funky town. I'm too old to be fighting. I ain't trying to have no heart attack or nothing because of your foolishness. So you know what? Be the bigger person and walk away. You know what I'm saying? But it's so fucked up. I think that... You know, they, they got, you know, and this is for my Gun Freak Nation members in the darker persuasion like me. We, I love you all. We come in every uh, color of the rainbow here in Gun Freak Nation. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all my brothers and y'all my sisters. But in this particular election, black folk are being targeted and they think that because this woman supposed to be black, we supposed to automatically don't give a fuck about nothing else, her policies, what she's done in the past, all of the fuck shit she don't did in the past, all of the locking up. I get it. If you if you do a crime, do the motherfucking time. But anytime when you you doing shit on purpose to suppress uh, uh, information to prove that a person is innocent, and you suppressing it on purpose because it's gonna make you look bad. Hey man, I got a problem with you. And that's why I got a problem with her. You know, I'm not here to persuade you who to vote for, but I'm I'm giving you my personal opinion for, for the two cent that it matters. I'm giving you my opinion. I'm not voting for someone that has um continuously said that they want to sign executive uh 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 do the executive uh 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 whatever they call that shit to make uh, to do a new assault weapons ban, executive order. She said that repeatedly that she wants to sign an executive order to enact a new assault, so-called assault weapons ban. All right. So the way I see it, <clears throat> if you do not in my best interest, if you want to put me at a disadvantage against these uh savages out here if you want to disarm me of of certain types of um weapons um i'm not down for that man i, I i'm not i'm not i'm not down for it at all because guess what the only people if, if, if that's if you can call them people that benefits from all this assault weapon bans and <clears throat> um um you know gun control is the savages the criminals out there man Criminals don't obey, uh, 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 obey law, man. It's something just messed up. 
about the way liberals think. They very dangerous. They dangerous. And they want to accuse, you know, Trump now of, of stirring up, you know, violence and fear mongering. No, no. They doing the same thing that they're accusing him of doing. Oh, he's a threat to democracy. He's going to be a dictator on day one. And you wonder why people have attempted to unalive him, not once, but twice. Because of all that rhetoric, all that rhetoric, rhetoric, all that propaganda, and they just make it make sense, man. And, the, and, and I'm telling y'all, like I told y'all before, they don't have a problem burning down an entire city, rioting, if they don't get their rank. So who's pimping who? Who's the violent ones? Who's truly the violent ones? I was watching CNN the other day. And by the way, I know CNN is the, one of the biggest hypocrites and, 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 and liberal, anti-American news channels, but you know what they say, you know, uh, uh, keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. It's an enemy of the state, man. It's an enemy of the state. And sometimes, I ain't gonna lie, I like to watch it for the entertainment because I crack up and laugh at all of the bullshit that they spew out there. And people taking it in and, and, and believing in that bullshit, man. You know, listen, I'm going to tell y'all something. It's so funky out there. We got these funky ass savages and the funk is thick. And I had somebody obviously that watches our channel, Gun Freak Nation, approach me in a hostile manner and I don't appreciate that shit. No, do they think they're going to sway me from talking about her and what I believe in? Hell to the no. Because I'm I'm savage ready at all times. You know what I'm saying? So you know you, you and, and, and I'm not making no threats or nothing. You, you 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 walk away. I walked away because I'm scared of what I might do if it escalate. Because you got some people that's out there in the black community, and I ain't just singling out the black community that's just so fucking brainwashed, man. They ready to go and argue, fight, and get violent with you. I had a Gun Freak Nation member that off, she teamed Kamala. She teamed Kamala. And, 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 you know, they left the nation. Well, you know what? Good riddance. Goodbye. 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 We don't need you. We don't need nobody that's trying to, uh, you know, undermine us. You know what I'm saying? We don't need you. Anybody that's in your life that's trying to uh, talk you to you into a, a situation where they trying to, you know, that's going to put you at a disadvantage, cut them loose. You know, cut them loose. You don't need them. That person is a detriment to you. So let them go. But yeah, man, we living in some turbulent, we living in some turbulent times, and um, yeah, uh, they tried me, but I'm too smart. I'm not falling for it. I ain't matching your energy. I, I, I'll walk away. No, if you insist on some shit, you insist on, you know, if I can't get away and you ain't trying to let me walk away, hey, man, hey, I ain't got to pull my funky town center. You know what I'm saying? These right here? Shit. I can hear my bones popping. I got to work out more. But I'm telling you, I still got it. And I'll knock your bitch ass out. I don't fucking play. All right? Leave me the hell alone. Leave me alone. I don't play. Listen, Gun Free Nation, man. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all like this. It's, it's funky out there. Them stinking ass liberals, you know, and I ain't even trying to talk about the, 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 the ones that don't know any better. I'm talking about the ones that, that it, it's a machine out there, man, a system that is 
you know, powered by CNN, MSNBC, ABC, them bitches that's on the views, because I can't stand them. They need to cancel that show, but it'll never get canceled because they 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 pro liberal with their funky asses. So hey man, we 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 facing an uphill battle. And I'm telling you, it's only going to get worse. We got, what, about two and a half weeks to go or something like that from the election? They already talking about it might be, you know, uh, some shit hitting the fan, man. Uh, just get ready. Get ready. Get prepared. And um, do what you got to do to survive. You know, <clears throat> I love each and every one of y'all. I want y'all to be, you know, live a comfortable life, have money, have good, well, first of all, have good health, have wealth, you know, that's the, that's the key to being in this country, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's, it's good when you live in comfortable, but how can you live when, you know, they have messed this country up, destabilized it, borders wide open? We got two wars going on. They giving and looking out and giving money to everybody but us. They looking out for everybody else but us. Yeah. It's, it's, it's horrible. Feel like we living in a nightmare. You know? So I'm just saying, listen, weather the storm. And don't depend on nobody else to come to your rescue. Depend on yourself. Get them funky town senders. You know, get your guns up. You know, get your ammo up. Get your get your medicine and food and water. All your supplies. All your your your, your emergency supplies. Get it. Get it stocked up. Because I'm telling you, you can't put nothing past these uh, demonic, uh, 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 abominable, demonic, diabolic. Uh, uh, you know, heathens. That's what they are. Heathens. You did? Well, anyway, God Freak Nation. Much love to you. Yeah, they 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 tried me. Uh you know, I spoke <coughs> I spoke my piece when that when that savage came up to me and um, you know, tried to tell me that, you know, well, you need to be voting for her. She's a black woman. That's the most ignorant shit that I ever heard. Never, ever would I vote for somebody that's going to put me at a disadvantage and talking about taking away my firepower, my guns, and just because you are black, that ain't going to happen. I don't give a damn what color you are. I vote for who I feel that is going to be for my best, you know, and for my best interest. That's who I'm going to vote for. Not because of her skin tone, man. Identity politics sucks. But anyway, God Freak Nation, I love you. Stay armed. Stay, stay responsible with your firearms. And, um, you know, stay righteous. And be ready to send that stinking ass savage to Funky Town. You hear me? I love you, Gun Freak Nation. Salute, baby. And remember, keep your head on a swivel at all times. Because you never know who lurking, who watching you. They might try, they might try to try you next. So stay on the ready, Gun Freak Nation. Stay savage ready. I love you. Salute, baby. You the best, Gun Freak Nation. And by the way, Obama, for you to do that, to, to chastise. And um and lecture those black men, it shows your true colors. You ain't shit for that one. You ain't shit for that one. It shows your true colors and wow, man. But anyway, God Freak Nation, leave leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. I appreciate you. The channel was growing. And hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And um, hey man. We gonna be at we gonna be at twenty five thousand in no time. All right, so you know, I love you, I appreciate you. You know, uh, just life is just so crazy and 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 and, and short nowadays. So you know, be the best version of the per of the person that you can. 
Be the best version of yourself and, and, and do unto others as you would want others to do unto you. Treat, In other words, treat people how you want to be treated. You feel me? But when they come at you like that and they try to antagonize you, be the bigger person, man, and walk away. But if they own that why why shit and they trying to do some harm to you, then you defend yourself. Much love to you, God Freak Nation. Salute, baby.